Did you ever wonder how you could remove something from your footage like a car, person or the sky? Or did you just want to single out an object? Well stop wondering because I'm going to show you how you can use a simple tool called masking to fix your problems. To explain the principles of masking let's start with something simple. Creating a split screen. In my timeline I have two layers. Of course I can only see the top layer as it's completely covering my other one. But that's easily fixed with a mask. In the toolbar on top I can find a whole bunch of tools like the selection tool which is the default tool and is used to select and move stuff around. The type tool for text, the zoom tool and so on. The tools that I want to use are the rectangle tool or the pen tool. And I can actually use both tools to create masks. The rectangle tool lets you create rectangle masks obviously. And if you click and hold the rectangle tool you can see there are more shapes than just a rectangle. The pen tool on the other hand lets you create custom masks in every shape you can imagine. And again if you click and hold the pen tool you can find multiple underlaying tools. But that's for later. Let's first create a split screen by using the rectangle tool. With my top layer selected I drag a square from the top right corner to the bottom middle. If you want to be super precise you can enable the title action grid which will give you an indication of the middle and other safe margins for the video. But that's something for another video. But as you can see I created a split screen with a mask easy as that. Now let's have a look at the settings of our mask. If I go to my layer with the mask and unfold the properties and then the mask options I can see four options. The mask pad, mask mask feather, mask opacity and the mask expansion. But what do they do? Well the mask pad is used to animate the mask. Let me show you. I create a keyframe for the mask pad around 20 frames. Then I go back in time to zero and move the mask to the right off screen. If I now play this back I have a simple mask animation. Next I have the mask feather. If I increase this I can feather or make the edge of the mask less sharp. This is a super handy tool when you want to blend two layers. The mask opacity is quite self explanatory and then you have the mask expansion. With this option I can shift the edge of the mask inwards or outwards. And that were the mask options, almost at least. There are also selecting styles but as a default it's set to add. This option will show everything inside the mask. Another option is subtract. This will remove everything inside the mask. But I can actually use the add option and invert it to remove everything inside the mask. And I know it's a strange feature from After Effects. Next I have intersect. This is actually for two masks. So let me add one quickly to explain it. If I set one mask to add and the other one to intersect it will only show the part of my footage in the overlapping part of the two masks. I don't use this feature very often but it's good to know that it's there. Just like the difference options which is the opposite of intersect meaning the mask will show everything except the overlapping part. And okay that was it for the settings. Timon show us a more complex mask with the pen tool. Alright now for this we're gonna use a sky replacement example. Again with my footage selected I take the pen tool and click in my composition window. This creates a vertex point and now I can keep clicking creating new points on the horizon. However as you can see every corner is sharp and let's say I want a round corner. For that I just need to click hold and drag. This gives me a round corner and levers to fine tune the roundness. Then to close the mask I just need to click on the first vertex point. Voila I created an easy custom mask. But what if I want extra vertex points or less? For that I need to go back to the menu on top and find the pen tool. I can click and hold the tool for extra tools like the add vertex tool or the delete vertex tool. With these tools I can easily adjust the amount of points in my mask which can come in handy. Ok now you know how to add or remove points but what if you added a round corner you didn't want or you want to add more round corners. Well for that you have the convert vertex tool. When I click on a point with this tool it makes the point a bezier point or in other words round. It also works the other way around making round corners sharp again. Now if you really like round corners and want them all the time you can also enable the roto bezier function on top making every vertex point you placed rounded. And now there's one more tool I'd like to mention. The mask feather tool. You already know what the mask feather does but with this tool you have complete control on where the feather needs to be. If I use this tool and click and drag on my mask I can add an edge blur for the entire mask. But now I can add points making the feather less or more on certain parts of the mask. Something super useful when compositing like my sky replacement. We're getting super good at masking so let's go a little more advanced. Did you know you can track your mask automatically? You just have to right click on my mask and then choose track mask. This will open up a new tracking window specifically for masking and there we have a lot of methods to choose from. You can experiment with all of them but let me show you one tracking method I use very often. When color grading I sometimes want to give the face an extra touch. Maybe make it brighter, pop more. What I can do is then duplicate my layer, create a very rough mask around my subject face. Then I again go to the mask tracking panel and choose the face 
face tracking outline only option. Hit that track forward button and see how After Effects works its magic, creating a perfect mask around the face. This gives me so much control during grading. Now did you know you can use the rectangle and pen tool to also create shapes? Don't know what shapes are? Check the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.